Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. In this week's episode I want to talk about Structured Clone and Deep Copy in JavaScript. So deep copies were always a challenge within JavaScript and TypeScript um, because of the fact that you need to copy every single property within your object towards the new uh, copy, right? And if you change something in the copy, you don't want to change the original and vice versa. So, but in JavaScript, you have a shallow copy. And if you change something into the nested object, well, that change is also happening in our, in our original uh, object. And that's not something that we want, right? So one of the things that I want to show you now is um, some examples to give you some more insights into shallow copy versus deep copy. So if we, I have here my shallow copy dot a new property and I say a new value and then I want to print out my original dot a new prop. Well, what would that give? Would we have then here printed out a new value or will we print out something else? That's right, we print out undefined. And that's because of the fact that my shallow copy is a new object, it doesn't have a new property. Um, so it will create a new property, but only on that my shallow copy, not on the original, because it doesn't have a real reference to that original, right? It will only affect the underlying nested objects. So if I now change the name here, we'll see that my original dot person will have also that name. So if I save this. If I now run this, you will see H1 name Sandy. Another thing that I just want to show you is what we did in the past for a workaround towards uh, a deep clone, right? And then we will try out the structured clone and you'll see that will give the same kind of a result, right? So the most common hack that's been used is the JSON.parse. It was even that popular that V8 really optimized the JSON.parse uh, functionality to make the browsers faster. So if we now do the same trick and instead of using here Sandy, I'm going to use um, Tricky and here I'm going to use my deep copy. Normally it should stay in my original dot person Sandy, right? And it stays Sandy. So you see here this trick works, but it's really strange, right? You need to first parse uh, a JSON dot stringify from my original. So first of all, here we're going to create a string out of my original and then we're going to parse it again into an object and then that's the copy, right? But you need to know that it comes with perks, right? One of the things that, yeah, will not work is if we have here a function, um, create, I'm going to create a function here. I'm going to put here and then I'm going to put here console.log create. Of course, we have here now my deep copy. And then normally, if we would do my deep copy dot create, that should work. But you'll see here that dot create doesn't exist. When you are using a deep copy like this with json.parse, you will see that that will not work. Other things like built-in um, 
uh, types like maps and so on will also not work and there are some other tricks that are not working with simple um, yeah JSON uh, objects it will work but if you have more complex objects that you need deep copy from well this trick will not work can of course always go back to low dash um, deep clone but again it's better to have that natively within the browser or within JavaScript environment to make a use of this right so other things that uh, the json.parse is not happy with or could not work well with is mapped map set date regs or array buffer uh, these are built-in uh, types that yeah doesn't work with uh, json parse and also recursive uh, data structures um, data structures is something that json parse has problems with so again good for simple um, yeah javascript objects uh, with some kind of nest nesting into it um, if you have more complex um, objects with functions and with uh, a map a set date regs or array buffer or recursive data structures well then that's a little bit trickier right uh, so let's now go for the structured clone here we go I'm also curious if Dino works with that. Okay, so uncatched data clone error could not be cloned. So here we at least get the error that it cannot be cloned right so again that's great because then we know okay we have a problem right there so I'm gonna put this into a comment again the same thing like the json.parse but then um, you get an error that it's not possible to clone that. Um, another thing that I'm very curious about is if the map set date regs or array buffer will work. So let's test that out directly. So my last trick would be that I put here data new sets one, two, three, and a date, new date. And then we're just gonna try this out and see if the structured clone is uh, working with that. And it does. So it can handle map set date regs or array buffer. One of the things that I still want to mention is that when you want to clone a class, be aware that that could be a little bit tricky. You will throw away your prototype and return you just a plain object. Something to take into account uh, if you're using structured clone for that. Um, so structured clone could be a great addition uh next to the json parse trick like i showed you before um of course it's just a method that's been supported by javascript runtimes and the browser and of course the browsers and the runtimes will optimize that functionality for you so in that regard i think it would be better to just use structured cloning uh, it's it's nice it's a nice feature in my opinion and so it was ha I, I was happy to play around with it because i also learned something from it uh, to just play around with with that and just know and and, and learn the, the the tricks uh for that what to look out for and what not so i hope you do as well please play around with it see if it can replace your low dash functions or your json parse um uh yeah work around uh, for that and um, hope you learned something from it 
if you found this a nice video please give this a th thumbs up so i know that i need to make more videos uh from 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 this um and uh yeah please subscribe to my channel if you like uh, the content thank you very much see you next time